Another function that is asked on orthodontics is the TMJ analysis and uh, we have a special module for that which makes the TMJ analysis quite easy and quite clear. Uh, so as you know here are the icons for the different uh, diagnostics that we want to do and uh, guess what we have one for TMJ. So if I select it uh, my computer will then calculate it uh, six views plus normally two in 3D. Here are the six views and uh, the idea is to get uh, the right TMJ and the left TMJ uh, quite visible in any single angle that we want plus then the, the 3D. So first what we need to do is to zoom a little bit so as you can see the zoom applies for every single uh, view which is uh, not bothering and then I click on, uh, on the first TMJ um, then try to have a better image, which is the case right now. Hey, let's uh, tilt this view in order to see the TMJ in a different way. Like this, and why not like this. Excellent. We get our first view. Just to be sure, we're going to center a little bit our first image here. Right. Excellent. Now let's do the same uh, on the other side. So very quickly, click, 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 and then let's adapt a little bit to the angle, right, to the first angle and second angle to, f to follow the ramus. Excellent. So this is our first uh, view of the the TMJ. Of course, uh, this is my way. You can change the the way uh, you want to see it. Um, and uh, you know just to remember every time which one is left which one is right because you can get lost with all these tiltings and uh, quite easy uh, get L for left and right for <laughs> right can be more clear um, so already with 2D you can do a lot of things uh, I must say uh, the, 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 the 3D vi visualization is not mandatory for, for, for the next step but in case uh, you are interested because it's somehow uh, uh, clear if you can see it in 3D uh, simply uh, click on Since Lab of course it's all uh, written here which one is that? It's simply this one and what happens you have uh, different views that are centered in general around these views where uh, you can select the thickness of what you're looking. You can select the orientation of what you're looking at. So as you can see, of course I'm actuating here, but I'm, oh, I'm of course looking here. There you go. Oops, I changed the view. No, I shouldn't have changed this one, but rather this one. Look at that. I have here a very nice I idea of what's happening. Let's do the same more or less here. Just first change the angle and select well thin slab as you can see is, is uh, enables to have a, a, a slab uh, what would be a, a piece of bread uh, of, of your patient and uh, that enables to clearly select uh, what you are interested in and uh, uh, of course as everything is 3D images you can change the density you can change as well the uh, visualization, uh, underscore bone for example uh, I think uh, bone HD is my favorite on this one look at that, it's beautiful so this enables to, to, to check diagnostic in general you can move as you want uh, uh, with the mouse in 3D but uh, it gets very easily to get um, get very easy to, to get lost. So in general, I would recommend to simply uh, use this one. Uh, you can do it in in all dimensions in 3D, and uh, uh, but that's m in general much clearer, and and uh, you get uh, you get a very good idea of your position. If you start modifying here your image uh, uh, or your capacity of diagnostic is is of course reduced. If I still want to see my 2D images in a clear way, simply unclick here, and there you go. Uh, as you can see, uh, before and after. Uh, let's see. This is how clear we can see it within Slab. This is 
with all the anatomical part on the background. So you see the scene slab really adds some some clarity to the diagnostic. That's it for the ATM.